Fertility preservation is where the male chooses to freeze his sperm or the female chooses to freeze her eggs. That can either be done for medical reasons or non-medical. Medical reasons may be where the male or the female is going to undergo treatment that may affect the numbers and quality of their sperm or eggs. And non-medical, or what we also commonly refer to as social, is where the male, or more commonly the female, chooses to freeze their sperm or eggs for use later. Certainly for medical reasons, as the information is getting out there amongst oncologists and other specialists, we're seeing a, a large number of men and women coming through to preserve their fertility prior to various treatments. So when I'm seeing a patient for fertility preservation, uh, obviously uh, if there's a medical reason, so for instance they're being given a diagnosis of cancer and they're going to have chemotherapy, then we basically try to expedite that process as quickly as we possibly can. From the male perspective, fertility preservation is not that invasive, it's easy to do, it's relatively cheap and the outcomes are good. From a female perspective, it's somewhat invasive where the female needs to undergo a stimulated cycle of IVF and an egg collection procedure. The egg is bathed in a chemical solution, what we call a cryoprotectant, and that basically stabilises the egg for the freezing process. And essentially the egg is sort of rapidly frozen, so it goes from room temperature down to minus 196 degrees centigrade um, quickly. There are some challenges because the egg is a large cell, it's filled with fluid, and so it is difficult to freeze and thaw. However, if the egg does actually survive the freeze and thaw process, the pregnancy outcomes are just as good as for a fresh egg.